from this new trio album, I'm telling you, I'll knock you out. Born at the Right Time, and that was real old style from the uh, trio's new uh, studio album. I know. Can't go wrong with it. Pick one up, take it home, listen to it on your plane. It's really cool. Especially when they tell you that thing about turning it off, which is bull crap. When they <laughs> get on the pilot, can't hear anything, turn them up all the way, test them. <laughs> test them. I don't believe that for a minute. But maybe. Our uh, eighth soloist is a first time camper. Uh, we love first time campers. This is Dan Yount, who uh, grew up in St. Joseph, Michigan. This is across the state from Detroit, uh, but presently lives in Nebraska. He says, growing up in Michigan, he's been a lifelong, he's had a lifelong love affair with the Michigan Wolverines. Yes! Good! Moran, are you out there? Yeah. We've been knocking the crap out of Notre Dame so often for the last few years, we're getting tired of it. Uh, he has his love affair with, uh, with Blue, uh, even in Cornhusker land. Uh, he lived in Alabama and Iowa before landing in Nebraska 17 years ago, and he plans to move to the Southwest, he says, Tucson or Vegas, when he retires. Come back to Michigan and Ann, and Ann Arbor, Dan. Uh, we need you. We can use every fan that we can bring back. Uh, he's married with seven grown children. Wife Michelle is a child of the 80s. Oh. I'd be surprised if she says she was a child in her 80s. <laughs> After seven uh, children, but a child of the 80s, and uh, doesn't get into folk music, he says, which Dan doesn't understand. Well, so often we don't understand him, do we? Um, but he says he is really tolerant, oh, he says she is really tolerant of his banjo. Something there that's really weird in my head, or going on being tolerant of his banjo. He's a... Uh, President of Filebound, a software company in document management and business process automation. Prior to that, he was GM for a manufacturer of high-end blinds, shades, and shutters in Omaha. He ran a steel fabricating firm in Iowa. Before that, he was in commercial nuclear power for 20 years. This is obviously a guy who can't keep a job. <laughs> Commercial nuclear power, I dabble in that. Uh, although he's old enough to remember Tom Dooley on the radio, says he wasn't hit by the Kingston Trio's Thunderbolt until he heard College Concert, uh, my favorite album also, which he says was the first album he had purchased with his own money. Says he was particularly taken uh, with John Stewart's banjo playing. In fact, uh, when he attended his first trio show, he took John's banjo. <laughs> oh, and that, you know, this is one of those lovely times where I went to the second page, it's not there. <laughs> Please welcome the guy who took John Stewart's banjo, Dan Young. <laughs> and I'm not giving it back. When we 
had traded a dime. That's where I met Barney. Singing that song. Uh, our ninth uh, soloist as we move 